Hi, and welcome to this edition of the Options Learning Center. My name is Rick Orford, and I've been a stock and options trader since 1999. And today, I am excited to show you how to buy long strangles and use bar chart to get the most out of the strategy. A long strangle is a directional option strategy where the trader buys a call and a put option on the same underlying asset with the same expiration date, but with different strike prices. The goal of a long strangle is to profit off an asset's significant price movement, and the profits can then be locked in upon exercising or selling the profitable trade before expiration. The strategy is often used when a trader anticipates a significant price movement in the asset, but is unsure of the direction. The trade is profitable when the underlying asset's price moves beyond the break-even points on the upside and the downside. The maximum loss condition happens when both options expire worthless and is limited to the net premium paid to purchase the long strangle. Let's visit bar chart to find long strangles. Bar Chart's option screener lets you screen the entire market for underlying assets for specific strategies. To access the feature, head over to barchart.com, click on options at the top, and then click on long strangle. Once there, you'll be shown a results page that's based on default filters and criteria. As you can see, the results immediately show you key information that you can already use for the trade, like strike prices, break-even prices, potential maximum losses, delta, and most importantly, probability of profit, which I'll get to in a moment. You can click on any of the column headers here to change the arrangement of the results. Right now, they're arranged from highest to lowest based on probability of profit, and this is my favorite piece of information when buying a long strangle. This default screen and its results are a good start, but if you want a more fine-tuned screen, bar chart also lets you do that. On the results page, you can see the Set Filters tab. If you click on that, you'll get to the Options Screener page where you can pick and choose from dozens of filters, so you can customize your trade to your heart's content. All you need to do is type in the filter that you need on the Add a Filter field, or click the drop-down. The screener combines option and stock filters, giving you a 360-degree view of your screens. Now, as I'm scanning for long strangles, I usually leave the default filters intact because they're already tuned for searching the best possible trades. I will, however, make a few changes. For example, the days to expiration is set to 60, and I can change that by clicking the values at the bottom or by entering in my own. For this trade, I'll set it to 100 days. Next, I'll put a check on ETF in the security type, so ETFs are included in the results. Lastly, I'll move down to probability of profit, and I'll set it to 40%. Strangles don't often have high probabilities of profit, so I'll set it as high as I can to find results with a high chance of profiting. Next, I'll click on See Results, and I see that there's two potential trades, arranged from highest to lowest probabilities of profit. Now, usually I just take the first one, but I'm not so sure on BlackBerry stock right now, so I'll pick the other, which is Papa John's International. By the way, you can also save your screener to reuse it later, just give it a name, and you can even have Bar Chart email you at a specific time with the new trades that match the filters. Okay, so let's get back to our long strangle since we have our trade details. For this example, I'll use Papa John's, which is trading at $46 at the time of the screen. It suggests buying a long call with a $47.50 strike price for $0.55 cents a share, and a long put with a $45 strike for $0.60. Cents. The total premium for the trade is $1.15, which will also be the maximum loss if things don't work out, and both options expire on August 16th. 
Now, let's break down the trade. For strangles, it's important to know where your break-even prices lie, to the upside and to the downside. To get the break-even price to the upside, simply add the total premium to the long call strike. And subtract the total premium from the long put to get the break-even on the downside. So that'll be $48.65 on the upside and $43.85 on the downside. And this trade will only see a profit if Papa John's stock price moves beyond any of these price points before expiration. Now, let's say that Papa John's stock price increases to $52 before expiration. Well, that means your long call trade leg is now in the money. You can exercise the long call and buy 100 Papa John shares for $47.50 each, and then sell them to the market for $52. For that trade, you'd make $335 less any trade fees. Now, that's one way to realize a profit. However, if your option still has a few days before expiration, you can sell it instead of exercising it and likely earn more. Option premium prices are made of intrinsic and extrinsic value. The intrinsic value is how much the option is in the money, and the extrinsic value is the time value that remains. So if Papa John's is now trading at $52, your $47.50 strike call has $4.50 of intrinsic value, but its premium could be higher due to the time value that's left on the option. If the price of Papa John stock goes down to, let's say, $40 instead, well, you have two options. If you own the stock, you can exercise the long put, and you'll sell 100 shares of Papa John's and collect $45 a share. That means your net profit on the trade will be $385 after the initial premium. But if you don't already own the shares, you can sell the long put as long as it hasn't expired yet. Like the call option, it might have some time value left, making it worth more than exercising it. However, if the price of Papa John's is at $46 at expiration, then both your call and put options are out of the money and expire worthless. Your loss is limited to the premium that you paid up front, which in this case is $1.15 or $115 a contract. As long as the underlying price stays between the strike prices, you will hit the maximum loss condition. For a better idea at how this particular long strangle trade might look, here's a table detailing the profit and loss scenarios across different price points. As you can see, the maximum loss condition occurs between the $47.50 and $45 strike prices. Profits begin when the stock trades above the upper break-even price or below the lower break-even price. And the further the underlying price moves away from the break-even prices, the more profit you'll get. Now earlier, I showed you how Bar Chart's option screener searches for potential trades in the entire stock market. You can also look for long strangles using a specific asset. To do that, visit barchart.com, search for the asset, which takes you to the overview page for the asset. And then, go to the left-hand panel and look for straddles and strangles. Click on that, and then you'll be brought to the results page for long straddles. From there, click on the long strangle tab, where you can sort using column headers, change the expiration date, or the strike price. To further refine your selection, you can click screen, and then set filters and add or change the filters as you like, just as I demonstrated earlier. It's that simple. The long strangle has unlimited profit potential to the upside and significant profit potential to the downside. And this is perhaps its biggest selling point. It can also be a lot cheaper than long straddles, a similar strategy, and also enjoys a bi-directional price bias. That's to say, up or down, you have a chance of profit. Lastly, strangles have defined risks at the onset of the trade. However, long strangles need significant price movement to profit. 
Long strangles will profit most from high volatility, but you have to be careful on your entry point. Ideally, you'll want to enter the trade when volatility is low and you expect it to increase, perhaps during earnings season. If you enter when volatility is already high, you might already pay a higher premium, reducing your potential profit unless volatility continues to rise. Like all options, the trade is sensitive to time decay. The closer it is to expiration, the less the option is worth. Lastly, a wider spread between the strike prices may mean you're paying less premium, but it also means that the underlying asset needs to move a lot more for you to profit. Long strangles are cheaper and a decent alternative to the more expensive straddles, but they require a higher price movement to profit. That's why it's important to leverage all the tools that you can get your hands on, including option screeners to maximize your profit potential. For more information about long strangles and other options trading strategies, visit the Bar Chart Options Learning Center.